this video does contain racist comments and or rude remarks, and all of which will be blurred. Skyblock is a mess right now. With backpacks being disabled, a man single-handedly ruining the economy with just duping Necron handles. You would think that this would be the worst thing to happen from the community, right? Well, with every popular game, there are bound to be cheaters. And there's a wide range of them. For example, in Roblox, you could be a literal Among Us character. Or, you you know, you could just use aimbot. Well, with Minecraft being the most popular game, there are obviously going to be cheaters. You know, some are going to be tame, like using X-Ray on the single-player world. But there are also more, uh, chaotic types of people. Like, imagine a group of IP-stealing, Discord-banning hackers who have all formed a group among a single shared hack client. A hack client called Dortway. Now, this started on April 11th, 2021, when SBL, a dungeon carry service, got attacked. The owners were saying something about the culprit breached a bot developer's account, and they got a bot token which made a bunch of other bots join the server. Like, imagine that one TF2 trailer with like all the mercs against the bots. I would say it was something like that. Anyway, 2.5k people were banned, with all the ranks in the server being removed. Anyway, after the attack, the owner of the server wanted me to make a video on the topic. You know, to put the server in like a good light and how they've improved or something like that. And to be honest, he was uh, pretty mad at me. Because in the video of Santa Aiken, I put him with the quote unquote nay nay <laughs> Dude, how is this guy the owner? Anyway, I refused, but you're obviously seeing this video, so what happened? Well, the next day, a bunch of bots started joining the server, and why I mean joining, I meant thousands and thousands of bots. There, I learned that this was way more serious. Anyway, the Emerald Elytra put a post thingy, basically talking about the quote-unquote raiders, and he's basically treating them like criminals, like they did some sort of war crime. And this little paragraph was basically all the information I knew. So I was rightfully stuck. Anyway, he added a new announcement of more information. He said that they quote unquote hacked Dream on stream, put anti-LGBT capes on NPCs, with a whole lot of other stuff that I don't want to get demonetized for. Surprisingly, he sent me the Discord server where all the hackers were, and my plan was just to lay low and maybe get an interview or two. But this server was something else. It was called Pizza Hut and the Operatives and they created the server just to sell a hack client called Dortware. And they were very edgy, like, they were pinging everyone just to say the n-word and stuff. And of course, they don't like Hypixel and their community. Seems like they raided SBS and SBL, plus it was rumored to them being linked to the Necron Guild. On top of this, they're also rumored to be linked to the Duper Trooper, which has been mostly duping Necron handles in Skyblock. Anyways, as I said, I just laid low. I took random screenshots of interesting things, but ultimately, I got nowhere. That was until one of the higher ranks was in a VC. There, I could possibly ask him about an interview or something. So, I joined. And they were playing Geometry Dash, which is one of the most brain-dead games of all of existence. Now, if it isn't already obvious, I felt like I was clickbaited. Like, I expected this cool hacker server, but no, I, I just got a small community of skids who use the same hack line. Anyways, my time was almost up, and I had to make a move. So I waited for a day to strike, then... The server was gone! Now, it turns out the owner of SBS and also SBL reported their server and got it banned. Now, this might make one happy, but no, this is the opposite. You see, the Emerald Elytra was helping me do this for a video. Basically, what our deal was is that he'll help me make the video and put SBL in a better light. And then he would ping at everyone with his Discord server of 25,000 members. So the person who hired me on this little goose hunt also made this 10 times more harder. Anyway, good job, Emerald. You stopped like two people in my videos that were the main antagonist. Anyways, I was stuck again, and I had one more lead. Remember the guy who was playing Geometry Dash? Well, his name was Noob. And before, I DM'd him a gif saying, Awesome farter. I fart. I fart. Okay, you got it. But anyway, because of this, I could still somehow DM him. Anyway, I asked him for the new server, and he sent me a link to the new server. Now, I was just assuming that they created a new server, but damn, I was right. And it felt good. Anyway, this new server was a lot more calm. Instead of pinging everyone to make fun of black people, they make fun of vegans, which... <laughs> is pretty funny. This is like a sudden 180. Like the most racist thing I see is in general, you know, someone's occasionally saying the n-word, but like, that's it. And the higher-ups ping everyone for freaking memes? The server sounds so cool. Anyway, I laid low, and after seeing a sudden change of heart, I DM'd Emerald Elytra. I basically warned him that there was a new server, 
but I also told him to not join. Because I didn't want my cover to be blown, you know? I just told him how the server is way more tame and I was going to send him screenshots later. You know, all he had to do was to not join the server. And guess what he does? He joins the server on his main account, mind you. He doesn't even create it all- he does it on his main account. Anyway, he got banned and he basically just said how they're like criminals or something. And then, to make things even better, 10 minutes later, I was banned! Now this goose chase was basically ruined, because the person who hired me also got me caught. Anyway, you're basically caught up on what happened. Because this was my side of the story, but the title also says interview, so what happened? Well, remember Noob from earlier? Basically, I DM'd him saying, L, I'm banned, and you know, he said that was blah blah, you know, I was sus. Anyway, knowing that this was my only chance, I asked for an interview, and surprisingly, he was up for it. Now, this next part will mostly follow a Q&A formula. I'll ask him questions, and he will answer. Alright, roll the clips. It says, <laughs> We have learned that these hackers are responsible for hacking Dream on stream. <laughs> Okay, we didn't hack him. So what happened was, uh, one of our owners, Generic, uh, this was last October, Generic is probably the smartest person you will ever meet. Uh, he doxed Dream and swatted him on stream. This was back- actually, I don't know, the swat wasn't him, but he doxed Dream. This was back in October. So we didn't, quote, hack Dream on stream. Uh, I, just, I don't really understand the thought you, process. You, you, you just dox- you No, know, because I'm reading what he said to everyone, right? Yeah, no, no, I, I already saw that. Be because I uh, have heard- So I did a little bit of research on it. I have saw, like, a dox from a couple months ago, but I don't believe it was from last year. This was from last year. It originally resurfaced around January. The dox was posted oh, on October 24th. What was on Twitter? Day. Was it, like, on Twitter? Uh, yeah, Twitter went insane when they saw it. Okay, uh, okay. A couple of new articles as well. Forgiving NPCs anti-transgender games on Skype. Okay, okay, I don't know where he's- <laughs> So, this is kind of true again. There's always a little bit of truth to this. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me figure out where I should start. So, I've got this friend. I don't want to say who he is, uh -huh. but he was the one that actually did all that. Uh, we did give George yeah. Not Found an anti-transgender cape, and I found that funny as fuck. My transgender friend found that funny as fuck. Alright. Um, I actually have a screenshot of it somewhere. He actually didn't remove the cape, he just hid it. Oh. Yeah, because, like, aren't the, the capes, like, ten, ten bucks each? Like... Yeah, but if you buy, if you have, like, an alt shop that'll sell them to you for, like, oh. two bucks each, it's a lot cheaper. But no, it, he, the guy who did this isn't even in my server anymore. Uh, basically, like, he just decided, okay, I'm bored, let's go put these on Skyblock NPCs. Yeah, I, I saw, I saw a video about it, uh, so... Uh, yeah, that kind of confirms some things. Uh, and the last thing they're quote unquote blaming you for is changing the Sky Shiyu website for the N word temporarily. I'm not gonna lie, I got no idea what that is. A I've never heard okay. of Sky Shiyu. Yeah, no, again, there's always a little bit of truth to this. This wasn't even us. This was oh. the guy who made that site. If this is even the right site, I know he made a parody of a site. Um, I know my friend had a site called, uh, skynword.mo, uh, basically it was a parody of some skyblock stats okay. checking oh, site. Oh, so, so, so that would make sense of websites that yeah. Okay, okay. Now, yeah. it also says, upon investigation, we found evidence that points to these people as the culprits. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, but just the, the way he's wording this he's treating you guys as like criminals or something he says uh there are also i, know, I read this bro i spent a solid 15 <laughs> minutes laughing i've already recorded my own response video uh like this dude does not know what he's talking about we're not criminals we're kids having yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty there. sure i'm pretty sure the owner is like 14 or something have any of you guys been responsible for the dupes probably not but uh i believe we've got a friends that do dupe a little bit uh yeah. we've got, i believe it's mostly the trooper, the trooper, most part. But... duper trooper yeah i think it's mostly i him. just talked to that man earlier uh for the first time as well we're helping him out my friend uh, just de opted a client for him and removed a token logger. I, I would say that that's all the questions I want. If you want anything, like... I do have a couple things I yeah. want to go on record saying. Emerald got us termed, and it's not going to do anything. We're going to continue coming back. There is nothing he's going to do to stop us. And, I mean, yeah. I just talked to Dreams X, who, by the way, is chill as fuck, but that... She had some mental issues. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
so understandably they were quite angry and they were really interested when we told about just some of the emerald lighter's antics and the best part is that we had proof he did such things as abusing bot devs saying the n-word telling people to die not caring about admin being suicidal calling a minor a pedo falsely and making everyone in general chat oh my god as well as blackmailing staff and also bribing other people now i'm going to say i don't hate spl or dirtware that much dirtware is just an edgy server with spl having really bad owner and the reason i showed all the information is because the owner actually backed out of our deal what, he made me investigate this super dangerous server and he isn't even giving me that one form of payment? Anyway, as I said, don't attack Emerald Elytra or Dortware. Just stay safe and goodbye.